Yes boys, what is going on guys? Welcome everybody back to another video. Icon Swaps, the second batch of tokens to actually get out here and I can say they have changed a little bit. Basically our first video absolutely blew up 100,000 views. Obviously I'm not expecting this video to get nowhere near 100,000 views but still we just want to help out as much people as we can with these Icon Swaps objective videos. So what I'm going to do is go over all of the Icon Swaps and just give my thoughts and all of that good stuff. Also down below eventually, maybe not now but in, uh, soon there will be all of the objectives and requirements, all of that stuff copy and pasted into the, the description so if you guys want to have a look at the objectives for yourself it is just in the description down below. Now, without further ado, boys, let's get into it. Remember, if this video does help you out, make sure to drop a like and a subscribe. So, starting off, we've got the six icon swap tokens. There's 10 up to grabs, which obviously 8 plus 10 is 18 total tokens. And EA know about the golden goal rule, therefore, they have gone and put it all in squad battles. And honestly, EA, they know how boring squad battles is. We have to win 6, 12, 24, 30 squad battles matches, which is a long time. It is a massive grind, probably 5 to 6 hours. There's no way to speed up the process either, lads. That's what is really annoying, and it has to be minimum world class. So I'm just going to go through, give my tips and all that good stuff. But honestly, like I said, it's just... It's going to be time consuming, a lot more time consuming because you can't do the golden goal rule, you can't play online. So EA, I have to admit this is probably a big L on EA's part, but hey, still, at the same time, I see why they did it, but then again, I mean, we just wanted to speed up the process because we all know how unrewarding the game is, and now EA are forcing us to play 30 squad battle games to get the tokens, which is a bit harsh, but hey, we'll go through it. So win six squad battles on at least world class using 11 silvers, uh, win six squad battles on world class using at least 11 UCL, so that's 11, I believe that is gold UCL common and gold UCL rare. I'm not too sure on like the, say, road to the finals and team of the group stages, I'm not entirely sure whether they count or not and win six squad battle matches on world class with 11 Liga NOS players so the Portuguese league French players not the French league just straight French players and 11 first owned players which if you guys don't know what first owned I've actually had some comments um, of people not knowing what first owned is basically it's players that you have in your club first players that you have not brought because if you brought that player obviously someone else has owned it before you so you either have to pack it or complete it through an SPC that's what will be first owned so what i'd say with this boys is literally just build the squads around the requirements for example one of them was just a beautiful silver squad so we are going to go on ahead and do that but also for the world class one there is no way to actually properly speed the process up so what you're going to want to do just look for the low rated teams 67 rating 52 chemistry so it should be it's your best bet it is your best bet go down to world class obviously you're going to want to make a silver team a full league and nos team and all that good stuff to hop into the game there is some squad battle glitches which i believe you just pass back to your goalie um but i'm not 100 percent sure on that just because I have not done it myself personally, but I know there are some videos on YouTube of that. So if you want to check that out, it can. It doesn't speed your process up because technically it will take the same amount of time, but it will allow you to watch YouTube in the background or something like that. And in weekend league, you just have to win 18 league matches, which you just, I mean, it comes over time. If you guys aren't capable of getting 18 in one weekend, like I know some people are, then it might take you across two, three, four weekends, and it will be a grind, but in return, you do get an icon. Icon Swaps, Heaster, I believe it is. All the Icon Swaps Premier League, they've done it a lot different. It's literally win six matches in the live foot friendly one league with at least seven first owned players, score 10 and assist five. So this is where Golden Goal will come into play, boys. You want to build that Premier League team, make sure at least seven are first owned. Name your team Golden Goal, and whoever scores first most of the time will be winning. Some players will want to play it out because you need to score 10. Obviously, if you go down, uh, if you score one, and your opponent quits every time you still need to score another four so not everyone will be doing golden goal like last time but there will be a, t a pinned my pinned comment will have a link to my golden goal video and how to go through that so what you want to do do that make your team full prem team seven first owned and then literally go name your team name golden goal or first goal wins 
If you go one goal down, quit. If your opponent goes one nil down, they should hopefully, not all the time, quit. Obviously, it's up to you if you do want to quit, but for me and many people, it really just does speed up the process. Now, it's the exact same for La Liga, win six matches with at least seven first owned in the Liga. So, I thought it was a full squad of La Liga. No, you can have seven first owned in the Liga, and you can have four icons if you want, um, and score in ten, obviously, the exact same. Once again, same applies with a golden goal, and one nation. Win seven matches in the life foot friendly one a nation with only English players in your squad and win seven matches with only Brazilian players now this is where golden goal people will obviously be doing golden goal for this as there is no score or assist uh, objectives with it so obviously build a uh, yeah, build a full Brazilian squad including the bench go to the one nation game mode and as soon as you score one goal I don't, I don't know what this kid is as soon as you score one goal your opponent should quit um, if they are going off of what they've done last time, which, I mean, fingers crossed, because it's so effective. I probably got my online swaps done in, like, an hour. So, obviously, just an example, you want to go over to the Play Online, and then you want to go ahead and go to the Headliner Challenge is the new one. You want to go to One Nation. You've got 60 matches remaining. Okay, so EA, it looks like, have... Um, tr if I try and count of a golden goal rule, which... Oh, okay. Let's kind of put a spanner in the works, boys. Let's put a spanner in the works. You obviously, you still can do the golden goal rule. It, it's just you can't go over that 60 game limit. And EA giving you a 60 game limit is incredibly bad on their part, in my opinion. So let me know down below what you think of that. But still, you can still do the golden goal rule because you've got 60 matches. So if you're going to say go one for one um, or have a 50% win rate ratio, then you will be good. Um, but obviously, this, this is going to stop a lot of people doing golden goal. But you still can do golden goal if that makes sense. Just be careful. Keep an eye on those games. And, I mean, you may have to play over. I just personally... It's, okay, so it's for the one nation, not the one league. Okay, so you only got to win 14 then. That's, that's not bad. So you've only got to win 14 games out of a 60. I'm honestly... That's not bad because it's only the one nation, right? Icon swaps the league. Yeah, one nation. You only need to win 14 out of 60, boys. So you can have like a 30% max probably way off, a 30% win rate um, doing golden goal and you'll be fine. So never mind, just be careful not to go over that 60 game limit. But that, like I said, that is only for the icon swaps one nation. You only need 14 wins for that. So at the same time, it's not too hard. They haven't made it too hard. But still, in general, setting a game cap for the community, trying to help each other out, in my opinion, ain't it from EA. But still, golden goal without a doubt is going to be working either way and honestly for these i would say the short story is for the uh, squad battles there are some glitches on youtube which i honestly haven't tried so i'm not sure so you guys could search that up if you want um but honestly just chuck a youtube video whether it's netflix just a youtube video a twitch stream even a podcast um, have that on in the background, play these games, world class, keep refreshing and make sure you get the lower rated teams, obviously building your team with all of the requirements and that good stuff. And as for the Premier League, it is literally just go into the foot friendly one league and that doesn't have a game cap. So like I said, you can go absolutely ham and do golden goal that way or play it out. It is up to you. And then La Liga, it is the exact same. One league, you only need six wins. And then one nation, like I said, you need 14 wins, seven with an English squad, seven of a Brazilian squad, so 14 in total, and what you're going to want to do, go to the One Nation League, you've got 60 games maximum to get 14 wins, which is easily achievable if you are doing golden goal, but if you are running, like maybe you're running a bit behind, you're not winning the game through golden goal, which you should theoretically, because skill-based matchmaking, if you quit, you face someone easier, so I feel like this shouldn't, the 60 game match cap should not be a problem, um, so let me know down below, but you may have to play it out, because if for some people it can be, but either way, golden goal in the One Nation, just be careful of a 60 game cap. So overall boys, that's the quickest way, my tips. Also for the One Nation, if you do not have them first owner, what I would recommend doing is maybe building some two rare gold player packs for the upgrade section, or even just opening a 5k pack, because when you're opening a 5k pack, you don't want to use too much coins obviously, but you can get some first owned players, and you need what is it, five first owned players for some of the squads, so we'll have a look. We'll open this 5k pack, scenes if I get Neymar, um, and we'll just have a look at the Spanish League, the Premier League, if we do get any. Yes, so look, boom, we've already got 
got a Premier League and a France for our French League, both first owner here. So I can put them into my first owner team. So if you guys are struggling to get first owner players, then easily just do this. It, it, like, yes, it will cost coins, but another good way is just doing the two red gold upgrade packs. So you can get the first owner players in your club. Um, and honestly, it's some cheap gems as well. You want to be looking at some cheap pacey gems. If you want to full that squad up, you don't have too much coins to spend. Say if you've got maybe missing your striker position for the Spanish league, one player I could not recommend enough is going to gold rear spanish league striker low to high and you'll see all these gems you want to look for pace that's actually high low you want to look for pace you want to look for sweaty meta players for example this dude actually doesn't play for bastard anymore so that wouldn't work um but like i said you want to look for cheap fast players so striker suarez is a very good one here i would recommend him if you need a striker spanish league suarez can be your guy because obviously 6-1 he's got some nice pace and his dribbling honestly isn't too bad um avila isn't amazing i i tried him i'm not a big fan gamiro gamiro would be a good card so just go through these cards if you need to fill your club up um naki williams would be a banging card to use the pace is insane so like i said boys just find some heap chidden heap chidden cheap hidden gems to use in your squad but lads once again hopefully this video did help you out let me know down below if you have any other tips for anyone and i'll pin your comment or heart your comment so more people see it anyway boys it's been your guy davis and until next time lads i'll see you later peace out